All right, so we just got our straight line performance top end in. Um, I'm gonna try and see if I can throw this on today. I'm gonna try and do like a tutorial kind of thing. Um, so yeah. All right, so got the plastics off. Uh, looks like we're gonna have to take a lot of stuff off down here. Um, gonna cut that zip tie. Um, I'll take this off. Make sure, probably take a couple of these off. All right, so I've got overstructure taken off mostly. Um, steering shaft is disconnected on one end. I took the wiring harness from over here and just uh, zip tied it up over here. I was going to take the air box out, but I can't get it out without taking this off. And I don't feel like doing that. Um, Took this hose, I'm just gonna just tie that. So next, I'm going to take the head off. Um, and then, yeah, go from there. All right, so we got the pipe taken off, or the pipe taken off, the can taken off. Um, we took the head off, up over here. We just had to take the bolts out. Then we took the exhaust valves out. We just had the four, bolt, four bolts there, and then that just, top just came off. Um, I'm gonna get, get all this coolant out of here, undo these two bolts back here, and then this part should come right off. All right, so head is off, all eight bolts. Um, I made sure that this piston was as high as it can go. I put a rag down, and I'm just trying to get these clips out. I got this one out, but it still doesn't wanna go. So I'm going to try and get the other one out and see if that works down over here. All right, so we got this out. Um, did the same thing on this side. It went, came out a lot easier. When you are going to take those pins out, you're really gonna want a rag like this around the holes so that the clip doesn't fall in. Because if it does, then it's gonna be a pain in the ass to get out. Um, but yeah, so that's out. As you can see, the old pistons had some pretty good scarring on them. Um, so it was probably a good idea to put the kit on. Any engine with 2,000 miles probably wants this kit, especially if it's a player of these years. So yeah, um, I dropped a washer down here, so I'm gonna fish that out and then put the kit on. All right, um, so we got all that off. Um, got the oils out for tomorrow. It's getting light, I'm just gonna finish this up tomorrow. These are the new pistons. Um, straight line performance. Uh, best, best kit out there, hands down. They make the best quality stuff. I uh, got a new base gasket, new spacer, taller pistons. All the pistons, eyes, everything I'll need. The only thing I might get is another gasket kit that'll just replace the gaskets going up. But other than that, I mean, yeah, we're pretty set for tomorrow. All right, so we've got the new pistons on. Um, it was pretty easy to install. Afterwards, I just lubed them up real good with two short coil. And yeah, they should be good to go. Now we've just got to put on the spacer plate and then the gasket. But before we put the spacer plate on, we have to put these on top of these. And these will actually go inside the head back here in the back. They'll go right in there. So they'll just slide right into there. And that'll give enough clearance for the new spacer plate. And then it should be ready to torque those down. Um, I won't be able to do gaskets today. I have to get those, I have to pick those up tomorrow, but 
yeah. So looks like that's what we've got. All right, so these little spacers right here, you're gonna wanna take those out. And I just used some needle nose pliers and just grabbed the rim of the spacer and just twisted it a little bit and it came right out. Um, you're gonna wanna do that because the ones supplied are quite a bit longer and that's to compensate for the spacer plate so that everything fits nicely. Um, then you just want the, the uh, yeah. All right, so we've got these two pins in on both sides. Um, put the spacer plate on and then the gasket and I'm um, just ready for the head. All right, so we got the head on. That was a pain in the ass. Um, you'll wanna make sure the rings on the pistons are all lined up with their holes so that they slide in and out. And yeah, it took like 10 minutes, but we got them on. Um, next is the bolts. And then, um, I think that's it for today. And these are jugs, not um, that. Oh, and then I gotta put the exhaust valves back on. And yeah, put this plate back here on the 10 mil bolt. All right, so I've got the head back on. I put a little extra oil on the pistons just so when it starts, it doesn't run too hot. Uh, I replaced this seal down, the gasket here and this gasket here. Now I'm just putting some 271 thread locker red on the head bolts, and then I will tighten them down. All right, so we got head bolts on. Uh, these wires over here hooked up. We're getting the overstructure on now. Just finished up those bolts. I have the bumper bolts, and you can't forget these two ground wires that go right in here. Um, then I'm gonna put plugs in, make sure coolant levels up because most of it's gone. Hook up steering post, make sure everything is hooked up, double check everything. And then see if she starts. Oh, and make sure that these clips for the oil lines are down here. So it looks like I got everything hooked back up. Um, gonna wanna make sure that you plug this back in, in this bag down here. Uh, make sure all these uh, gas lines are hooked up right. Make sure all the zip ties are back in the places that they're supposed to be. Um, yeah. Just kinda double check everything because you don't wanna have something that's missing. Um, yeah, so now we're just going to fill up the coolant and put a little more gas in it and see if she starts. Also, I thought this was important. Um, when you put coolant in there, you're going to want to loosen up this screw right here, which is a eight millimeter. So, and then pump out the lines to make sure all the air is out of the system. That way the coolant gets back in the tunnel and you don't have air bubbles in the coolant system, which I can show you how to do here in a second. So as you can see, I just loosened it up and you can already hear the air coming out of it. And this coolant is dropping way down. So I make that a little bit looser. All right, now that it's a little bit loose, you can see the little gap right there. I wanna put this over here, then, Start squeezing the line, like this. Just this line right here, or any line, doesn't really matter. And that should be helping to get the coolant through. You can see it's kind of dropping a little bit. Probably gonna wanna put more in real quick. I'm just using 50-50 mix. Um, the pre-mix from Polaris, it's the one I've always used. It's never failed me. I wanna pay attention to the level down there so you don't overflow. See, yep, now we have coolant. It's filling out. It's not what I wanted. 
you can, as you can see, there's coolant running out. Grab a napkin here, wipe that up. Then what you might want to do is tighten that up a little bit. Um, just grab the socket itself, put it in maybe half a turn. And then we'll pump it again. Make sure you see air coming out. As long as there's air coming out, keep bleeding this. What you're gonna wanna do is tighten it. At least by hand enough. Then you're gonna be able to hear it in the tunnel. That's good. I'm gonna bleed it a little bit more just to make sure all the air bubbles are out. That's basically what you're gonna to wanna to do. Oh, I forgot to zoom out. Yeah, you're gonna have a little bit of coolant spill, but it's not gonna hurt anything. Just try to get as much cleaned up out of the belly pan as you can. Right. Now that that's good, we're gonna tighten that bolt up. Make sure to tighten it just so it's snug, so you don't strip it. Cause stripping things sucks. Okay. Just to make sure it's nice and snug. Now you could look up the spec for it if you wanted to, but I never have and I haven't had an issue for it. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna top this off. And as you can see here, you never want the coolant to go below that cold fill line. So I'm just gonna top that off real quick. So if it does go below that line, you could have, you're gonna get air bubbles in there. I'm just going to throw the sensors off. That's good. Okay. And then we're going to put the cap back on. We're going to put that on. Okay. There we go. So now that that's all on, everything should be good. I'm just gonna wipe up the excess uh, coolant. And we're 